the time has come. The time has come. All right, guys. So October is Breast Cancer Awareness Month. I'm doing a fundraiser this month, and every dollar donated, you get entered to win a basket. Ooh, a basket of all sorts of goodies. I'm getting more items for this basket tomorrow, so I'm going to be um, showing you even more stuff tomorrow. But essentially, it's um, a fundraiser for breast cancer awareness, and um, every dollar that is donated goes to Chicks and Chaps, and Chicks and Chaps is a group of women, a group of cowgirls that supports the Western lifestyle and then distributes money to um, families and women impacted by breast cancer. All right, so that could be wigs, it could be a medical treatment, it could be mortgage payments, groceries, um, clothing, all sorts of things. I've made a ton of videos about this, whether that's here on TikTok, um, my Instagram, um, or my YouTube, just lots of different places I have put this out. Um, you can find all of those links, including the donation link, um, in my, in my link tree. Okay. So, um, this is an organization that hugely impacted my life and my mom's life before she passed away. That is why I'm doing it in honor of my mom who died of breast cancer, um, 2023. Okay. So, and like I said, everyone who donates gets entered to win um, two, so two, um, uh, what are they called? The flight attendants. Because I'll be reading baskets and they've got tons of stuff. I've got pictures on here. Do I find an author that truly resonates with me? An author that I can truly be like, okay, I, re I really like what they do. I really like how they write and I really like... Um, XYZ about them, an author that genuinely and truly inspires me. Okay, that happens extremely rarely. I'm not going to tell you I love a book if I don't love a book. I'm not going to praise an author repeatedly if I don't actually think they're really good or something that inspires me. This author inspires me and she has the moment the first book I read with her. Okay, she is brilliant. I honestly truly think that she's so so brilliant to me. So at any rate, I reached out to her and holy cow, I'm like sweating. So I reached out to her because I wanted to add a few books to the basket that I personally really liked or an author that I personally really liked, one that I can kind of like showcase, you know? And I reached out to her and I was like, hey, I know you've got some books coming out or a book coming out and one I'm very excited about. Crazy guys. Um, and I was like, I know you have one coming out soon, but I want to buy a couple of your books for this basket I'm doing. That's kind of how basic I left it, you know? Uh hey, I got a package from one of my favorite authors and I'm like over the moon. I've jumped over it with the cow. Me and the cow have jumped over the moon. I am ecstatic. When I read books, I tend to read them objectively. I'm like, cause I'll read a lot of like alpha reads or beta reads or what have you. And I'll tend to read them objectively. I can say, you know, I can say like, I really like your book and I could see why this group of people would like it as well. And I will rate it as such, okay? Very rarely do I find an author that genuinely resonates with me, an author that I really, really like, an author that um, kind of hits home for me, one that I would consider an inspirational author to me, like an inspo author. This woman is an inspo author to me. And even more so now because her character shone through so brightly and I am overcome overcome with love and like joy and excitement for this woman now like I'm girl crushing hard I'm girl crushing hard so yes I'm hugging this I'm <laughs> I'm full on hugging this because look how first of all look how beautiful this is I want to get this like tattooed on my skin like I love skulls my soap dispenser is a skull um look, look at that like my decor is skulls I have a thing for the skulls so this is just just gorgeous it's just so gorgeous and she's gonna have to tell me like how she does something cool because her name is right here and i'm just covering it because i want to keep it a secret but i am opening this this is what i talked about earlier i'm gonna have to ask her how she does this though because i want to do it for my books like this is the bees knees the knees of the bees so anyways i'm gonna open that up in a bit but like i said she's my inspo author right and i'm doing this fundraiser that i've talked about so much and everyone who donates to the fundraiser gets entered to win um one of two reading baskets like chicks and chaps swag will be in there as well as 
different books from different authors, which I have here. I'll show you too, uh, just a recap. And um, also uh, like socks, teas, treats, like I'm gonna go over everything that's in the baskets once I have everything in the, for the baskets. And I think more of it's coming tomorrow. Um, and I'm gonna explain more about the fundraiser at the end. For right now, I really want to primarily, because um, I've already talked about the fundraiser so much, so check out those other videos. They're everywhere. They're in, <laughs> hands are everywhere. Um, my link tree, like you can find my YouTube video about it. You can find other TikToks about it. You can find stuff on Instagram, my Facebook, like literally everywhere. And I've got graphics, so, and my DMs are open, message me. So I reach out to this girl, woman, this woman, this boss lady. She's who I want to be when I grow up. I want to be you. She's like full adult best-selling author and I'm like a toddler author. You know, I'm past the infancy. I've learned how to walk and I'm potty training. That's where I'm, I'm the potty training author. <laughs> we're gonna go with. Anyways, she's one of my inspo authors. Like she hits home for me, like I said. She's truly, truly, truly incredible. Um, I love, love, love her books. Like what I love about them is that she has this incredible way of uh, just, she's got like, oh, there's so much to say, but she's got these one liners in like every single one of her books. It just, I remember, and they're so great. And they're so impactful. About them is her character development, her style is in them, her voice is in them. You can literally hear her author voice. And I really love that uniqueness because all day, every day, I'll give you an author praise because I can see their book and I can rate it objectively, but I don't have authors where I can genuinely say, I love your work. A lot and I mean I, I love a lot of writing sure but uh, uh, for me to really like fangirl over an author is pretty hard and pretty rare I I can't tell you how much I adore her like especially now I have some books from my fundraiser basket and I was more than willing to buy them and um, I reached out to her and she barely knew anything about the fundraiser and yet she was like yeah, sure, I'll donate them. And I was like, I didn't ask you to donate, you know? And she was like, I'm okay with it. It's a, it's a fundraiser. It's for the it's for a good cause. And she's also a breast cancer survivor. I walked through some of her videos on her page. And they kind of made me cry. And I was like, I'm not a crier, you know? But it kind of just hit home because, like, what I went through with my mom. Um. So anyways, and I was like, I'm an American. You don't want to send them all the way out to me. And she's like, I totally will. It's not a big deal. And then she sent it, like, that same day. And I was like... I was out of my mind like I only reached out to her because I know she's got a book coming out on the 29th and I am so 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 excited about it I like pre-ordered it immediately and I was like I can't wait for this and um I wasn't sure if she wanted me to like keep promoting earlier like you know other books in the series or if she wanted me to do some of her like more well-known ones I just really wasn't sure what she wanted so that's and I wasn't even sure she was going to respond to me because like I said she's like a dulled author and I'm like baby author so, um, well, no, I'm potty training author. We discussed this. So, any rate, I was like super shocked, super surprised. So shocked, in fact, that I sent my husband a voice memo screaming because I was like out of my mind. I was just couldn't believe this. So, I like another thing too is she has a, a way to do short books that are super impactful, like um, from A to Z. You know, like she could get to the, the plot, the characters, the development, the uniqueness, all in like 160 pages. And I'm like, girl, why are you so brilliant? So those of you who have read my book, The Inevitability of Us, and who have loved the character Wally, he was actually inspired by this book. Okay, so I originally wrote the book and Wally was a little bit different. And after reading this, I was inspired so much by the way she wrote him and his character. He's just, he's just, there's an age gap romance in this one um and it's quick it's saucy he's got great one lines one of my favorite lines in here was i enjoyed that darling and it was just i, I did that terribly but wreck me forever and what i really loved about this is lucas he's so quirky and weird and a little bit awkward and he's silly and he's shy and she just really brought that to life that's what she does with her characters she brings them to life and um uh, this like tall badass wreck falls for him and then their first kiss scene in this book is just out of control it just it shocks you it's amazing and i love his character in this and it was so inspiring to me just the way she brought that to life like these little things she does and just the contracts the, the, the juxtaposition between him and wreck was just really incredible and you first meet death in um wreck me forever and you immediately fall in love with him you're just like death i love you forever you're my human and 
she just made you wait to, you know, to actually get his story. And fortunately for me, I came late in the game because I, she was already like in the process of releasing it or was like really close to the release date when I came into the game. So thank God for that. Cause I would have like lost my marbles even more so trying to wait for that. Um, but he first comes in in this book and um, so Ray moves in next door and it's, she's got like some loud music she sleeps odd hours and she comes over, or he, no, he knows what it is, my bad. So he, she, he has a loud music he's working on his gym shorts. Yeah, yeah. And so she walks across the fence and is like, turn the music down because I work odd hours and I um, like I need to sleep right now. And he says something about effing the, the bee out of her and uh, just is like a gold, that's what I mean by her gold nugget lines. Like they're just so perfect, I love, love, love that. So he's great, it's a great little story. The only thing I did not like was that it was so short, so bad. Um, Never Saint was another part of the plural interconnected standalones, right? So she's got three in the series, the PMP series, and um, she's got three in there. And then they're, the the guys, like two of the love interests, are part of the Diamond Dempsey, and then she has like the Diamond Dempsey, so they're kind of like interconnected. I love. So like she's got the Protected series on Amazon, uh, protected by the Bear Shifter, the Tiger Shifter, and the Fox Shifter. One of her characters is um, Riker, who's a fox. He's kind of hyper, you know. He's kind of like jumping around a lot. And um, he's like, at first you're kind of thinking to yourself, I don't know if I would want him. Like in the first book, when it's um, Deacon's and Rio story, and Rio's like the son of a was he like mobster maybe that was like a crime boss essentially and deacon's supposed to kill his dad essentially and they're just like we're made to live together and it's like this instantaneous thing and um you meet his brothers um in the book and all his brothers is Riker, super hyper and intense because like how is she gonna make this into a whole ass book and i'm like i don't know what she's gonna do here because he's so hyper but he turns out to be the sweetest character and that's what i mean by her characters is they're they stick with you like they stick with you and they just stick with you like they're incredible like if you are looking for an author that has very unique characters that are written so well um i know she has longer reads out there i'm a slow reader so I haven't got a chance to read them all, but I know she's got um, longer books out there, and she's got paranormal books that I haven't got a chance to read yet. She's got like polyamorous books. She's got MM. She's got um, curvy female. She's got so many different books. Like it's insane how many books she has. Um, so at any rate, any rate, so she's amazing, like I've said, and all of her characters really jump off the page and they stick with you and she's definitely the type of author that you need to go check out and read and like you'll just you know read her books like all super fast and all within one day because they're they're impactful they're unique they're interesting the dialogue is witty as hell and you're just like oh you're perfection chef's kiss okay okay the moment we've all been waiting for i almost have to put the envelope i need to figure out how she did this can i just keep the envelope and like hang it up you know what i'm probably gonna do weird i'll do that because Alright, let's do it. I don't want to cut it. I don't want to cut it. I'm scared I'm gonna like break something. No, she does not. Why is she so cool? Why is she so cool? Like, why does she have these bags? Why is she so cool? Look at that. Also, I can't believe I'm touching something that she touched. She touched these. She touched these. They've been in Australia. I think I'm gonna cry a little. So these are going in my gift basket. The other one is going to be exactly the same. You will love this book. <laughs> you will love so much. I love what you talked about. You was like, I love the chapter. This is so pretty. I'm like, in awe. Yeah, I'm like, I can't. I'm like, oh. I love this. It's so pretty. Oh, she's got something in there. Oh, she's got stickers. And she signed it. <gasps> she puts a heart on hers, too. Anyone who's ever gotten my signed books, you know that I put a heart on it. Oh my god. <gasps> I'm out of my mind right now, guys. Out of my mind. I can't even focus. <gasps> wow, so whoever gets this basket, you are one lucky person because holy cow. Incredible. Look at these stickers she put in there. She's one of those really cool authors that do cool things. And I'm like, I really need to get on the bandwagon of doing cool things. Okay, so I'm gonna leave this completely intact. So whoever wins this can have it as nicely as possible. Though I'm I'm jealous for sure, because I'm like, can I win? I mean, don't get me wrong, I donated to my own cause, so there's a chance that I could win, because it's completely sec secure. I could win my own baskets, but it's very unlikely, because I don't, I don't want to be the winner, I want someone else to get the winner, but I'm for sure jealous of this. For sure, for sure, for sure. 
This is incredible. I want to tape the swag. I mean, I won't. But all this lovely swag is in there. I'm probably not going to open up the second one because I know it's going to be exactly the same. So anyways, it's going to be exactly the same. I don't want to, I want to leave it as like intact as I possibly can. Yeah, so it's the same exact thing. But I want to leave it as like in nice and in pretty if I possibly can. Oh my gosh. If you've heard of Lila Rose, please just let me know because she's so incredible. A great human, a great woman. I loved the book Country. Like, he inspired my whole entire Wally character. Like, my whole Wally character. This is incredible. Two of these for each of my baskets. Okay, donate a dollar to Chicks and Chaps. Goes to women and bre families infected with breast cancer. Yeah, um, Michael Knopf's book in here. A romantic suspense. Um, I can protect. Um, hunted from me. Um, when Rolls to Xavier Ward Blitz. Um, that one is by Heidi Cowan and Brandon Bobolitz. He does not have social media. So, um, I know it's like a weird Waldo. I don't, I don't want these books to touch these books. I feel like these are sacred and like, I just can't do it. And obviously my book on um, the inevitability bus is also in there. I've got more looking for an incredible, incredible author to follow, a woman to follow. She is your person. Like, you will find a book that you love from her. Like, there is no doubt in my mind. Her characters are incredible. They jump out of the page. Just, she will blow your mind. Protected by the Fox Shifter. Um, he's just so crazy and hyper and like, and at first I was like, how is she going to do this? But then she did it and she did it masterfully because um, he falls for someone in MC and it's, oh, it's incredible. And then um, also in that series, Protected by the, um, the Tiger Shifter. And we first meet Kyron, uh, Kieran? It's Nox is a Tiger Shifter. And I'm saying he's probably saying that Kyron is a K Kieran? I don't know, when I read it, I was like, I'm just going to call him K. So in my head he was K. Because um, I couldn't read the fancy names. They don't, they don't know that part. But um, you, you first get to the Tiger and you're like, um, is he going to, you know, is he going to be like, because he's a um, Nox felt kind of like, super badass, you know, and you're like, how's he gonna do this? But she did this great juxtaposition with the tiger and him and how tigers are soft and cuddly. Honestly, every single one of her books hits it out of the park for me. I absolutely love her work, like true fangirl. He responded to me, I was out of my mind. This whole thing makes me out of my mind. Like, it's crazy that he was willing to do this and she's an inspiration to me, like 100%. And like, uh, she inspires me. She inspires me so much to push my boundaries and be, be a better author, like, She's the one person I'll read when I need a, uh, a read cleanse. She's the, she's like one of three authors I really, really like. And the fact that she responded to me and that she, that she was just willing to send us from Australia to support like me and my small little fundraiser and my small little like following was just, touched me in such a great way because I I really want to do justice for my mom I really want to give back to what was given to her and I really feel like having Lila Rose books because she is so incredible I'm such a big fan having her books that are just such a beautiful delivery I really got to figure out how she's this cool um in the baskets is gonna really set it apart so thank you and I'm gonna turn it off so I don't cry like a weirdo. Appreciate you all. And thank you, Lila Rose. You have made all the difference. And this is like the highlight of my October. And also because tomorrow's my birthday. Well, I guess you are already in my birthday. So I hope that the 11th is a good day. You kind of gave me the best birthday present I could ask for. So thank you.